Hey, you lovely people. I just was on a live video and um, the gods were not with me. The technical gods were not with me. So for some reason, my audio wasn't working. So I am recording this and will upload it as soon as I finish. So let me do what, let me start again because that was such a poor performance. So today we're gonna to talk about getting your shizzle together for the new year. Um, I'm Elise Tager. If you don't know me, I'm Elise Tager. I'm a business coach to ambitious female entrepreneurs and creator of the Level Up program, which is launching in February 2022. So I help women entrepreneurs break through that six-figure ceiling to grow and scale their business. I do one-to-one -one coaching, and I have found in the five years that I've been coaching that there is this point at which, usually a year or two into their business, where an awful lot of the systems and processes that that women entrepreneurs have set up are no longer working for them, or they've sort of hit their own emotional ceiling and they can't get themselves through this threshold of six figures. So that's who I work with to help lift them up to take them beyond that uh, stopgap. So that's who I am. The reason I picked this topic is that Beginning of the new year, you know, 2022 just started. Um, I'm assuming that there are lots of changes in your business and your life based on our new reality. Perhaps it's a new or a revised business model. Perhaps you have some new goals. You might have some new priorities. This is the perfect time to take to stop now in the beginning of the year to take a fresh look at your goals and be sure that you've set yourself up for success as you march into January of 2022 and beyond. So I'm gonna talk about three things that set you up for success. One is mapping out your calendar to make sure that you are doing the things you need to do to accomplish what you need to accomplish to achieve your goals. And I, and I refer to time blocking with that. I am a big proponent of time blocking. Uh, we'll talk more in just a minute, but that's number one. Number two is tracking your KPIs. So your key performance indicators. We'll talk about that. And lastly, how are you feeling about your business? Are you happy? Are you not happy? Are you stressed? Are you not stressed? We'll talk about that and how it's really important that you get your arms around that before you jump into a new season. So let's start with time blocking. As I said, I am a huge proponent of time blocking. Um, it, it's important to make sure that you have a work-life balance that works for you. What many of my clients say to me, I hate this process because it feels like too much structure. So what I'm encouraging you to do is take a look at a blank, a blank calendar page and take a look at what's going to work for you. You know, work around your kids' school schedules, work around your own energy levels. If you're someone who's a morning person for heaven's heaven sakes, don't do important phone calls at four o'clock in the afternoon if you're not on point. If you're a morning person, make sure that you get your most important things handled before noon or at least before three. So you take advantage of the, of the energy that you have your own energy levels. The reason it might feel like too much structure to you is you're working against what works for you and you wanna honor that. So some of the things that you wanna block into your calendar and like the reason this is called time blocking is that you're, you're gonna physically put on your calendar the fact that every Tuesday and Thursday from 10 until three is when you take client calls. Right. This is when you're open to receive client calls. So it might be current clients or it might be follow up on prospecting calls or, or what have you. But this is the time that you've allocated to do that task. If you don't put that on your calendar and honor it, this will ooze out into other days of the week or other times of the week. And you want to make sure that you're using your time intentionally. If you're using an online calendar, the benefit to this is if you block out that Tuesday and Thursday from 10 till three, that will show up on your calendar. And so when someone goes to set up a new appointment for you, those are the only times that they will indicate that you are open and free for a conversation. So that's some of the things that you can be doing. So let's talk about what you can be blocking in on a weekly and a monthly basis. Client work, what is the work that you have to do for your clients? Right there, if you're in a service service industry, which most of you who are working with me are, you want to make sure that you allocate the time that you can, that you need to, to, to do client work. When are you going to do client meetings, right? Once a week, once, once every other week, two times a week, 
lock those in and communicate that to your client. Again, you want to create the structure so that you can abide by it. And you're also training your clients that you're not on call. You want to make sure that they know that there is a, a time and a place to do those calls. Team meetings. If you've got a team, this is exactly what you want to do. Lock those times in your calendar. Here's one that slips through the cracks a lot, content creation. So I create a lot of content, many of you do. So whether that's doing blog posts or YouTube videos or live videos or recorded videos or um, you know what have you, blog, any of that, that's content creation. And if you're waiting for the muse to hit, you're, you're wasting your time. So you need to block out time in your calendar to make those content creation things happen. And I would highly encourage you to batch. So if you're gonna do, if you've said you'll do a blog post a week or two blog posts a month, allocate one time block per, one time block in the month to make those two or four posts happen. So again, you're using your time better. If you're doing you, videos for sure, you wanna batch these things because if you're gonna set up your lighting, get your mic, mic working, you only want to do that once so that you can then blast through the videos that you want to do. You might change your top so you don't like you look like you're wearing the same thing all the time, but batch your content. So put those content creation blocks on your calendar. Now, this is important because if they're on your calendar, then you can't you can't just say to yourself, I didn't feel like it, or you know, the muse didn't strike me, or what have you. If you if you discipline yourself to sit down on Friday mornings to make that happen, it's likely you will make it happen. Other things you can, you can um, schedule, social media management, right? Again, with the, with the batching, you can set up your social media posting for a whole month at a time or two or three months at a time. Do that in one, one, at one time block. Maybe you take all of Friday or all of a Thursday afternoon to post your, so schedule your social media for the next week or month. Um, other things that you want to put on your calendar and make sure you're doing this, prospecting, right? Make sure that you are spending at least 20% of your time or more doing prospecting. So you always have people knocking at your door. You always have leads coming into your funnel. You always have people who are interested in doing business with you. So make sure that's on your calendar. Um, lead or prospect follow-up, right? That's something that you want to make sure that happens because you know the few, the successes in the follow-up, um, make sure you're not, not putting all that effort into outreach and not enough effort into following up with the people that you've connected with and have said that they're interested in hearing more about you. Um, networking events. Make sure that you, if you've decided that you want to be attending one, two, or three networking events a month, make sure that you do the research to find out which of those they are, what, you know, what Meetings do you want to attend either virtually or in person and block those out on your calendar. So you're also doing the networking that is a critical part of building your business. So time blocking per se, if you do the structure on your calendar initially, it might feel like work, but it's really going to set you free because you know what has to get done when and how much time you're going to, all going to allocate to that. You know, I used to be um, a broker and one of the things that I found with the biggest clients that I worked with is if I allowed, you know, three weeks to get a proposal done or a week to get a proposal done, it would take me a week. If I allowed two days to get it done, it would take two days. And, you know, were all those T's crossed and I's dotted? Maybe not, but it got the thing done and out the door and into the client's hands. So make sure that you are doing that for yourself. All right, so that's time blocking. If you need more help on that, please let me know. It's so important to success in the new year. All right, second thing I wanna talk about is tracking your key performance indicators. What we track improves. And I've heard that said so many times, but I know from my clients and myself, that's so important and that's so true. So I encourage my clients to come up with one time block called CEO time. And that's going to be the time at which you sit back and you take a look at how did you do this week or this month? You know, what are your key performance indicators? How many people did you reach out to? How many followed up with you? How many people are following you on social media? How many people are on your email newsletter? Um, how many people have su subscribed to your YouTube channel? 
the, and of course, revenue and expenses. But you want, don't just want to track the money. You want to be tracking the performance indicators, which is why it's called key KPIs. You want to be sure that you're focusing on getting the work done that will equal revenue. So be sure you create a spreadsheet of some kind that allows you to take a look on a weekly or a monthly basis on in whatever categories you decide you want to look at. Where are you this week? You can even do plan versus actual, but where are you this week versus last week? So start tracking, start being aware of that. So your, your radar is up and you can start paying attention to how and where you can improve, right? If you don't look at the numbers, you're not going to improve. So tracking your KPIs is critical for growth beyond that six-figure level. If anybody wants spreadsheets, I have spreadsheets set up for KPIs. I have a, a download for time management, uh, time blocking. Happy to share those with you guys. Um, last thing, and I don't think we think about this enough, how are you feeling about your business right now? Brand new year, going into 22, 22, how do you feel about your business? Are you excited? Are you tired? Are you exhausted? Are you feeling depleted? Take a look at this and see how you feel coming into a fresh new year. If it's on the negative side, it might be time to take a look at what, what, are, the, what are the things that you do in your business as a whole? Is it something you want to continue with? Um, how do you feel about it? How could you, where could you find areas to tweak that would make you happier? Where can you stop doing the things that are stressing you out? So one of the things that I started with and working with my clients on at the end of, in the middle of last year is how can we streamline what they're doing in their business to alleviate some of the stress? So if they were working with six offers, let's see if we can't narrow it down to two. You know, make sure that you're only doing what you can do and still maintain energy, excitement, um, enthusiasm about your business. If you're feeling depleted, exhausted, uh, COVID and isolation has exhausted a lot of people. And so what can you do about that? Do you need more time for self-care? What kind of self-care? How often can you create your own opportunity for self-care? Take a deep breath and go inside and figure out how am I feeling about 2022 and my business? And listen to what you come up with. I don't think we do that enough. Um, so I'm encouraging you to do that. So a couple of things I wanna offer to you is that, as I said, I do have a, cal a, a level up calendar blocking guide. That's, I'm gonna put that into the um, description and you can download that from there. Um, also coaching, if I can help you break through that six figure barrier, I would love to do that. I'll put a link to schedule a call with me to see I can, how I can help you break through your own ceiling. And with that, thanks for joining me today and I will see you in the group. Take care.